here we go. On Welcome, everyone. On a roll. On a roll. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday, everyone. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Nursing School Show. I'm Matthew. Ask us anything. Ask us anything. That's Christina. She'll be answering. Hello. I'll be reading and reading out loud questions, Reading I guess. and reciting. Reading and reciting. So, mm -hmm. welcome to the AMA of today. The topics based on Monday. We, we asked on Monday on our live um, what topics you guys would like to talk about, either fundamentals or med surge, mm -hmm. and we decided to go with both. So we are answering fundamentals, med surge, all the tips, tricks, etc. Let us Hacks know if you guys have any questions and pop them in the comments. While you're at it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you're on YouTube, if you're on TikTok or Instagram. Hello. All the things. Mrs. Do all the things. Yeah. All right. Mm. Michelle, I learned a study Do hack from med student. Cecilia, uh, hello. Study like you're going to have to teach it to someone else. I read that, and yes. that is brilliant. That is brilliant, That's Michelle. That's we always say. Yes, yes. It's actually part of our study system. Ooh. Boom. Um, all right, so. Hello, doll yes, pop, pop in your questions. Also, pop in pop any Instagram. hacks or tips that you guys have as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and let us know where you're from, too. Let us know. Let oh, us yeah. know. Where are you at in the world? Yes, Rachel, I'm studying communication right now. How do you get past the overwhelm of nursing Ooh. school? This is my first week. Congratulations. Oh, yes, I'm sure we have a lot of people. It's their first week or second week or beginning mm -hmm. of the term. Let us know how it is where going and where you guys Manila, are at. Manila, Philippines. Hey, Manila. Your people. My peeps. Rain Spring, Rachel hello. Lynn, hello from New Orleans. Awesome. Very cool. New York, Queens. Queens. Queens and New York. Is that mm -hmm. like New York, New York? Mm. Kansas City, Brazil. Wow. wow. Cool. Awesome. Chris, Med Surge is starting out with fluids and electrolytes, mm -hmm. I'm assuming. With haven't... fluids like downing waters. <laughs> yes. Haven't seen your lecture or course for fluids. Hopefully it's easy to understand. Yeah. Haven't seen your lecture and course. Uh, for fluid and electrolytes. So in okay, our so membership community, which, by the way, is open for a couple more days. So mm -hmm. if you're not in the membership community, go to nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join and join before it closes. On uh, Friday. With, yes. Oh, and actually, on Friday. if you join on by Friday. tonight in like a couple of hours, mm. uh, midnight Pacific, you will get these DoseCalc flashcards okay. to help you pass DoseCalc. So make sure that you actually join by tonight so that you don't miss out. All right, Chris, you're a member. Okay, yeah, so there are, there's a whole Fluids and Electrolytes course that has many videos. It's, on, mm -hmm. it's in Fundamentals, which is what we're talking about. So, hey, look yep. at us go. Look at us. All right, so, yeah. And it, it is, is going to rock your there. world, Chris, because it is so, so good. That Fluids and Electrolytes. I have never seen anyone teach fluid and electrolytes how we teach it because, okay, here's the thing, friends. We have a very defined study system that we walk you through for how to pass nursing school. No one else teaches it like we do. We literally walk you through step-by-step step how to study and how to pass your exams in nursing school. So that fluid and electrolytes course, Chris, is exactly what you need. Um, you are going to love it. We hear all the time from nursing students saying, what in the world? I didn't even know it could be this easy. It can be. So that's why we have it. So there you go. And it's actually part of what we're going to talk about today, like Matthew yeah, said. Yeah, um, let's go ahead and jump into that a little bit since okay. it is part of fundamentals, which is this topic for tonight. So yeah. fundamentals, how to study. So you ready are and set always. and go. I don't even need a ready, set, go. I always <laughs> just start talking. <laughs> Who I am. Um, there's four things that you are going to want to focus on when you are studying med surge, when you are studying fundamentals. And those things are, if you've heard me say it before, you can write it down in the comments so other people can remember. Okay? Pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing intervention. Those are the four main things that you are going to want to focus on as you're studying. So I know there's a thousand things that you could study in nursing school. Your teachers, every one of your teachers is going to say, no, just read the textbook and memorize everything in the textbook and you'll be fine. It'll be fine. How many of you guys have heard that? 
like all of us to like all the time <laughs> that's just that's kind of like the default just read the textbook just read the text textbook and that's just not helpful right for so many of us like we can't learn very well by reading a textbook that is not helpful Naya, thank you on YouTube that you're putting in the comments what Christine just talked about. So the four main things, pathophysiology, which you got, signs and symptoms, which is number two, nursing assessment, which is number three, and nursing interventions, which is number four. 100%. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Those are the four things you're going to want to focus on. So like Chris in our fluid and electrolytes course, that's exactly what we focused on. So, you know, what's going on in the body, you know, patho. Um, with fluid and electrolytes, with a lot of things fundamentals, it's actually going to be the physiology. So you need to know, like, what is normal and why are we giving this, okay? So, like, with fluid and electrolytes, you need to know what is normal before you know what's abnormal. So, you know, we walk you through all of that in the fluid and electrolytes course. So, you know, pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, so, like, what would you see in a patient? Like, what, you know, why are we giving this, basically, and what's going to happen? Nursing assessment, what to assess for, and the nursing intervention. It's going to help you so much. Any disorder that you're studying for fundamentals, for med surge, for advanced med surge, for mental health, for pediatrics, for OB, for all of the things, friends, those are the four categories you want to focus on. Like I said, I know your instructors are going to tell you to know a thousand things, and it's just not true. You know, like <laughs> Christiana, hello, textbooks are so overwhelming. So overwhelming, I yes. I agree. Sarah, yes, like we can read 40 chapters a week, lol, yes. 100%, Sarah. I I personally am not astute. Is that a proper word? Astute. Am I, <laughs> I enough to read 40 chapters a week? I don't have the time. I don't have the mental capacity. I just don't have the patience, let's be honest, <laughs> to read 40 chapters or even four chapters a week. I mean, that is a lot of reading on top of clinical days on top of care plans, on top of skills lab, on top of going to class, on top of all of these things that you have to do in nursing school, right? Right? So just reading the textbook, I mean, you can, if that's your jam, stick with that. But for most of us, like reading a textbook and understanding it, being able to critically think about it and apply it, you know, apply that information and get points right on your exam, not happening very easily, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we break it down in this way. Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions, that is what to focus on. We teach you all of it inside the membership community. And the membership community is at nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash join. Sarah, yes, you can um, cancel at any time. Yeah, um, we're not we're not sketchy. <laughs> Come on, friends. But it is only you know open until Friday, so make, you know, go ahead and yes. take a look at it and be sure to get in before it closes. Um, and like we do I have said, a bonus going away tonight, tonight right? Yeah. Because it's Wednesday. So, so make sure that you join right now. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get the dose count flashcard. Okay, Michelle. Digital. Um, please elaborate a little on pathophysiology. All right, that's a good question because that's kind of mm -hmm. the basis. That's, that's the bedrock. That's the little foundational stone. That's the bottom of your food pyramid. If you... <laughs> Did the food pyramid the, that I did the, like, that was sold on sold to us by the corn industry. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's a nice, nice that sugar little is good for you. yeah, nice little bottom layer of carbs. That, <laughs> that's where pathophysiology is no, at, sure. right there. So right there. Yeah, right there. So yes, let's that's elaborate hilarious. on pathophysiology a little bit. <laughs> um, that's so funny. Uh, all right, so patho. So Michelle, there are really there's kind of two parts to this. Anatomy and physiology was one of your prereqs, most likely, before you got into nursing school, right? You need to know what is normal before you can know what is abnormal. So anatomy and physiology, it just means, like, what is normal in the body. Okay, so what are the bones in the body, right? Where's the liver in the body? You know, do you know, uh, you know, what the tibia and fibula are? You know, you got to know those things. And, <laughs> like, the Krebs cycle. Oh, golly, the Krebs cycle. And, you know, all the immune stuff, like the, the compliment cascade. Wow. Look at, look at all the things compliment I remember. Compliment cascade. I think I, that sounds <laughs> Just familiar. Just pulling this out of my brain, friends. You know, it's all about anatomy and physiology. And then when you get to nursing school, you got to build on all of that and get into the pathophysiology. So pathophysiology means like what is wrong now. Okay. 
So like we know the anatomy and physiology. Now we need to figure out what is wrong because when our patients uh, present at a hospital, right? We, you don't have patients coming into a hospital like, hey, I'm fine. Everything's good. No, like something's <laughs> wrong, right? They're, that's why they're there. So there's some pathophysiology going on. So we need to figure out why and we need to fix that. So in order to fix it though, and in order to figure out why that it's happening, we have to understand pathophysiology. So that just means like what is abnormally happening in the body. So uh, let's take an example that most nursing students, like if you're in fundamentals, you know, or like diabetes or heart failure, right? So like heart failure. Okay. So if you have a patient with heart failure, most of us know like generally what happens with heart failure is that, um, you know, the heart basically just cannot pump blood forward into the body like it normally does. So in anatomy and physiology, right, you learn the chambers of the heart, you learn the conduction system of the heart and how blood flows all the way through the heart. And then in nursing school, you build on that and you figure out, you learn the disorders, like the cardiac disorders, right? So heart failure, well, you know, there's, depends on the kind of heart failure, but let's just say like the left ventricle cannot pump blood forward into the body. Okay, so we know that. So now what are the signs and symptoms that's gonna happen? What are the nursing assessments for it? And what are the nursing interventions? But we have to know the pathophysiology before we can continue on to the next three categories. Same thing with diabetes, same, same thing with stroke, same thing with, you know, AKI, uh, kidney injury, acute kidney injury. Uh, you have to know the patho first and then because everything else builds upon that. The, si the signs and symptoms, what we're gonna assess for, and then what, how we're gonna fix it, the nursing intervention. What are we going to do about it? Okay, does that make sense, um, Michelle? Does that make a little more sense? We always, friends, um, we always break down the pathophysiology into a step-by-step -step process for you. So I personally find it very, very helpful when I can see a, a process listed out step-by-step. -step. Like I can follow steps. It's, that's just, it's just how my brain works. And from what I've noticed is that that's how a lot of your brains work as well is like step by like, just give me the steps and I can follow steps. Right? So that's what we did inside the nursing SOS membership community is the patho videos that we have in there. So we have a patho video for all of our disorders, right? We have those four videos, patho signs and symptoms, nursing assessment and nursing interventions. So when you go and look up acute kidney injury inside our membership community, you're going to see those four things, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Those are four separate videos. You've also got a study guide there too. So it all starts with the patho and we break down the patho step by step. So you don't have to go um, and dig in your textbook and try to figure out, you know, what's happening when and how does it work and all that stuff. We're going to break it down for you. So don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't have to teach yourself from a textbook and figure, you know, spend a thousand hours trying to figure it out yourself. That is not useful for you. You have too many other amazing things to be doing. Just let us teach it to you. It'll be so much easier. Awesome. I think yep. that is really good. Uh, Michelle, pathophysiology equals what is wrong and why. Got it. Correct. Awesome. Absolutely. Perfect. Yep. Uh, let's see. Rachel Lynn just joined. So excited for the flashcards. Yay! Awesome. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. When you join, I got a couple questions yeah. about it. When you join, uh, we will email you the flashcards. So. And Nairobi, so you joined today too. Hooray, hooray. Woo! Congratulations. I we need to do shout outs. We do need to do shout outs. I need to log and... in and grab that. So I will do that here in a little bit. Uh, Fidane, I'm, if you're still on, you're saying you're, we're getting cut off a lot on TikTok. Are we being too loud? Sorry about Are that. Are we being cut off or what's going on? Let us know so we can fix that. That'll be great. I don't know if we can fix that on our end. Uh, let me see here. What else? Oh, Chris, uh, you have a good question. Are nursing labs check off videos in the courses? Uh, um, in, in what the was membership? the question? Sorry. Um, Nursing lab videos. Are there any oh, lab, no, nursing so lab checkoff videos? Like skills videos? Okay. Here's the thing, friends, with skills videos. Um, we do not have skills checkoff videos, and here's why. This is a very important thing. Your school is going to test you differently than another school is. Like, the content that you're learning in nursing school, absolutely. That is straight across the board. We can teach that to you so that you pass your exam at your school. And someone at another school passes their exam. 
but I really don't want to give you a step-by-step -step process to passing your skills check off because you're in, that's instructor and school specific. Does that make sense? Like your school is going to want you to do different things than another school is. And you will see this in a hospital or a clinical setting where you go and do something and the nurse is like, that's not how we do it, <laughs> you know? So it's, that is, yeah, that's an unfortunate reality. Um, that's why we do it that way. So here is the deal though, Chris. We the do deal. have the tutoring form within the membership community where you can ask specific questions. So definitely as you're going through your skills checkoff and if you're not sure about something or have something really specific that you can ask, mm -hmm. then we'll be able to help you out a little bit more one-on-one -on -one that way. So definitely use a tutoring form for any of your personalized questions or yeah. things that you still have questions about. You can always do that too. Solid point. We have nursing tutors inside the membership community. So you don't just get a database of videos uh, walking you through stuff. That's amazing. Of course, we give that to you. But also, on top of it, if you are confused about anything, if you leave class, you know, and your instructor was explaining something and you just do not understand it, you don't get it at all, that's totally fine. Come home, talk to one of our nursing tutors. We will, like, we'll help you out. That's what we're here to do. So we try to make it easy. Uh, Michelle, I joined yesterday. Would I be able to get the flashcard? So if you joined yesterday, be sure to check your email, check yep. your spam, promotion. Sometimes it gets lost in transit. So basically check. Or in just email inboxes. I yep. tell you, like, I logged onto my <laughs> email this morning, and it was just the floodgates. I just, there are so many. So be sure to check your email. Make sure that you, you get it. Um, if not, just go ahead mm -hmm. and email us or, or message us, and yep. we'll get those over to you. And you can download them, print them off right away, and have them on you. So Do you have any videos for perfect. ABGs? Of course, my friend. ABGs. Of course. ABGs. Is that on your phone? Mm, yeah, it's under fundamentals. No, no, no. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lizzie, I take my NCLEX yes. tomorrow morning, and I'm terrified. Oh, you, I'm sure you'll You're be gonna great. You're going to do great. Sure um, you'll be great. But I do have a question for you. Once you take it, we go live Mondays and Wednesdays. Join Tell back us. up on Monday mm -hmm. because I want to know how you did. Yes. And I want to know if you're a guinea pig and got some of those NGN questions at the end that don't count for anything. But 100%. we've been talking about the next generation NCLEX and yep. want to hear if you got any of those questions. Uh huh. So we do. Yep. Let us know how you do. Now back to ABGs. Yes. No one teaches it like we do. Like there are several things that we just do really, really well. ABGs being one of them, dose calc, fluid and electrolytes, man, all the things you guys need help with. We teach it in a much more simpler way. Is simpler a word? Simpler, gooder. A gooder way. It's, it's a much gooder way. Than you will ever hear <laughs> anywhere else. Uh, did I make my case? I didn't make my case very well. <laughs> It's so good, you guys. I mean, the fluid and electrolytes course, I don't understand why nursing instructors always try to make it so complicated, or ABGs make it complicated, or dose calc. What in the world? Pharmacology. Oh, I actually got a comment about that. So pharmacology for the only Samara J. Hello on Instagram. Pharmacology. No one teaches pharmacology like we do. We have a very defined step-by-step -step process for how to learn your meds faster and how to study pharmacology better. It is so, so good, friends. You're just, you're not going to want to miss it. I just like, that's it. I'm just going to leave it there. You're not mm. going to want to miss it. Okay, so I see that one about oh, on yeah. Instagram. Uh, let me see here. Christiana also had a question here. Uh, just started critical care, complex nursing. So kind of beyond the fundamentals in med surge. Mm -hmm. um, but critical care nursing this semester, any tips on how to master understanding and pinpointing the most important info when a patient has more than one disease process? You are speaking my language, friend. Mm, interesting. It really all comes back to that. So patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Now, where is my DRC model? So inside the... Um, we also have a YouTube video on this as well, is the DRC critical thinking model. So you have to be able to critically think in nursing school, right? Like that is what we do. That is what we do as nurses. 
Uh, you've got to know how to cook and sink. That is the, you know, swim or sink or swim. That's the <laughs> phrase. That is like the sink or swim. Um, you have to know how to critically think. Uh, I think it's, it's down, down here. there somewhere. Oh, I there. believe it is. Uh, yeah. So definitely, the, what we're what we've been talking about those four things. So someone in TikTok, someone in Instagram, someone on YouTube. Be sure to put those four things for everyone else, for the class. <laughs> for um, the class. Go ahead and put those four things in. It applies to fundamentals. It applies to med surge. It applies to critical care, mm-hmm. uh, pathophysiology, signs and signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, nursing interventions. Works the same way. Yep. There's just a little bit of critical thinking involved too, which is really good because you you don't want to just get stuck just memorizing lists of things. Because Christiana, like you said, if if it gets more complex or a patient has more than one disease process, that's not going to fit into you just memorizing these lists of things. You need to be able to understand the general pathophysiology and what you're seeing, what's going on, what's wrong, right? Pathophysiology, what is wrong and why, and then be able to critically think about that. So yep. that's what Christina is talking about. We have a critical thinking model that we go over in the nursing community um, that will help you kind of tease out that information. And Christiana, actually, what I want you to do, are you a member? Is she a member? Um, I missed your comment before, if you were or not. So get into the community, obviously, because we have a whole critical care course there for you as well. But also on YouTube, check out our YouTube channel because we also do have um, the critical thinking videos on YouTube friends. So if oh, yeah, you Christiana, are like, you are I just awesome. can't join the membership community, I totally get it. Um, I really recommend that you do if you can. But if you're like, no, I absolutely cannot, you know, that's okay. We have a critical thinking video on YouTube. Just So just go to YouTube, type in nursing SOS critical thinking, check it out there. Uh, I just got a comment that's really great on Instagram. I'm buying the membership because farm is hard and patho too. I just want to pass and get a tutor. Yes, we're here to tutor you. I'm taking fundamentals and lab health assessment and lab meds. Yes, promoting healthy body. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Please help me with these tests. We absolutely can. So, uh, you farm, mentioned tutoring. So, yeah. Christiana, I'm going to circle back around on you. So, uh, one thing that I do recommend doing, again, we have the tutor form. So whenever you need it, whenever you need to ask specific questions, mm-hmm. uh, definitely pop in there and ask those and try and give as much information. And the most helpful thing to do uh, for us, and also when you're talking to your teachers, if you got a question wrong on a test and you're not really sure about it, make sure you walk through your thinking process mm-hmm. because that will give the teachers, that will give the nurses, not me, not a nurse, um, more information <laughs> on help on what you're going through so that we can help you better or your teacher can help you better. So mm-hmm. what you do, especially with what you're talking about with your critical care, is you think through it, you you do your best to try and tease out all the uh, signs and symptoms and what the patho- uh, pathophysiology is. You give your best um, scenario and try and figure it out. And then you put all of that into the tutor form. Mm-hmm. And then you send it over and say, hey, am I on the right path? What do you think about this? Am I thinking about the pathophysiology correctly in this way? And then we'll be able to help you very specifically and clearly um, get to the answer so that, again, you, you're working on your critical thinking and you're practicing that and you'll get better at that. Yep, 100%. Uh, we, yes, Lil Olin, it is. So, um, Nicole, our lead nurse, actually just told us that when we jumped on the call. Amazon Web Services Ooh, right now yes. is down. So, like, Amazon, the wet, the servers that they create for companies <laughs> is down right now. Yes, Michelle, so you Michelle, noticed the same thing. Yes. So, if you are a nursing access member and you're trying to access the videos right now, Nicole just told us about it. AWS, like Amazon Web Services, is currently down. Unfortunately, so, a little bit out of our control yeah. at this point. But it's Amazon, so Amazon, they're going to so fix I'm it. I'm sure it will be up pretty quickly. Until then, again, the community is open. Yes. Um, our, our private community forum is open, so go ahead if you guys have questions. They use different servers. Uh, yeah, if you have questions, go ahead and post in there, yep. and um, we'll, we'll be in there too. So in the yep. meantime, get to know some peeps, go ahead, check some recipes out in yeah. the Beyond Nursing section. I did post in the community just, just right before we got on this live, actually. So you can just, if you have any questions, comment on that post inside the community and we can help you with anything. I think Nicole's in there right now. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, guys. It's like that never happens. But 
What you gonna do, Amazon? Yeah. What know. are you gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I learned ABGs with the tic tac method. Yep. That, it was easy that way. Tic tac toe. Yep. That's another. I honestly did not find it super easy, but if it works for you, fantastic. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, our test is on ATI. Uh, we can't review them, but how is that helpful? Because we don't know what we are getting right or wrong. Ooh. Correct. So here's what I recommend. Okay, here's free tips for y'all. Um, ATI, because I saw a couple of questions on ATI. If you're on an ATI and hockey program, you get test bank questions. So the pros is that it really mimics the NCLEX pretty well. The cons is that it's a test bank. Your instructors don't know what you're going to be tested on. You don't get like a itemized list of the questions you got wrong and things. Um, but here's what I recommend is that you uh, just keep a kind of a mental note in your mind as you're taking the exam on the topics that you're getting kind of caught up on. And then meet with your instructor right after taking the exam and go over those things. So let's say, you know, you, you don't exactly know the question that it asked, but you know that it was on like stroke symptoms. Uh, and like the the symptoms that can happen, you know, depending on the type of stroke or, or something like that. Um, and then you can talk to your instructor afterwards to get clarification on it. Like, hey, I just need help with this kind of thing. So even though you can't really go over your ATI or your HESI exam, like item by item with your instructor, you can at least do it that way, like topic based. Does that make sense? Um, another thing um that uh you could do is that we always recommend you'll see i mean, we've talked about this on youtube videos a lot and inside the community is that you want to go over your study plan with them uh study plan with your instructor so make sure that you are always communicating like constantly communicating with your instructor so that um you know they know that you want to pass <laughs> you want to show them how dedicated you are right and then they can give you insight on how to study, what are the best ways to study for these things, and all of that. Now, another good thing for ATI and HESI is that they do usually, well, you can tell me, um, Brie, uh, you can tell me, Brie, do you get this for ATI for your school? I don't know, maybe some schools do it differently, but they'll usually give you a printoff of the, um, uh, how is it like the like the topics that's not that's not what i'm trying to say like your strengths and weaknesses that's what i'm trying that's what i'm trying to say um so you'll get a print off at the end of your exam like here's where you did really well this is what you did good on this is what you didn't do so good on so for me my school used hesse and the things that i struggled with time and time again were farm it was like pharmacology again and again and again so, you know, every time I would take a test, get a printout, it was like pharmacology. Okay. But then it tells you, you know, what you did really good on and what you need to work on more. And that can be really helpful for you to go then meet with your instructor and, you know, work on that specific area. Does that make sense? So that is how I would recommend the different, um, you know, how to um, study for ATI, even though you cannot get you know, go through your exam item by item with your instructor. Solid plan? Solid plan. Good? Good. Uh, Amber just uh, had another question. Hi there. What is the difference between the community membership and the free content on YouTube? Hi, Amber. Great so good question. to see you. Fantastic question. So, um, YouTube is a lot of study tips. YouTube is like we give a lot like we give a ton of study tips on YouTube We do have some med surge videos. We do have some fundamentals videos on there. I think we have like I don't know. I think we have one on pneumothorax. I think we have one on like Yeah, there, there are a couple out there. There's some like, you know, um, like hypotonic hypertonic isotonic solution stuff So there's like fundamentals videos. There are med surge videos, but when you it's it's kind of like a kind of like hit or miss. So when you join the membership though, you get access to the whole step-by-step -step process for how to study. You know, you don't have to figure it out yourself via our YouTube videos. We walk you through it. Um, and then you also get access to everything, all the videos. So if let's say you're studying, well, let's use pneumothorax as an example. 
if you're studying pneumothorax in nursing school, it's a respiratory condition, and you, you know, go to YouTube, try to find a video on it, uh, we have a, a pretty high-level video on it, but then when you get into the membership community, we're going to walk you through those four things, the four categories that we always talk about. Do you guys remember? Patho, what are those four things? Pop quiz! <laughs> Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing intervention. So when you go into our membership community, you will notice that all the disorders have those four categories. Uh, that's what we walk you through because that is what you need to know to pass your exam. So while YouTube videos can be helpful, um, if you need kind of like a high level refresher, if you actually don't understand something, uh, the membership community is absolutely where you're going to want to be. Um, also, Amber, the thing obviously we can't do on YouTube is the tutoring. So, and um, like we have a bunch of those practice problems inside the community. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff. So the really the community attention that you get from being a part of the community of all of our other members. And I think, man, I mean, it's crazy. We've had uh, there. Everyone is so supportive inside the membership community. It is insane. So if you post something, we respond. It's just how it is. It's amazing. Um, and then you get access to our nursing tutors, of course. So if you ever have a question about anything, if you're confused at all, if you're just feeling overwhelmed and need someone to talk to, hey, we're here. So, you know, you are not doing this alone. You don't, it's not like you join our program and then all of a sudden never hear from us again. That is absolutely not how this works. Like we are here for you every step of the way. We are here to answer your questions and walk through your nursing school journey with you and hold your hand the whole time. That's exactly what we're here to do. I mean, you guys know me. Come on. This so is how we do it. Really, it is accurate. I mean, we, we've been talking about this on and off mm -hmm. for as long as we've we've had the membership. Is It's a nursing SOS membership community. Why is it a membership community? Why isn't it just a membership? Why isn't it just community? And it's really because it's both. Mm -hmm. So membership has all the, the info that you need, all the videos, all the uh, really nursing-focused material that you need to help you get through nursing school. But really, yep. it is really about that community too. And as you know, in nursing school, you, you need that community. You need the people around you that understand what you're going through, that get the the stress, the anxiety that you can get, and maybe talk you through some stuff or, or have some insight on what they did. Yep. So it's really a supportive community for you as well. So there's that, there's the community stuff, there's the membership stuff, there's the tutoring form. Uh, also, we have our physical products, and anyone that's a member gets 20% off. So Oh, yeah, 20% off so, our, like, farm flash cards. Yeah, so there, there's a bunch of little I things there, too. Back. So Ooh, that is they're fun. They're so pretty. But yeah. really, it is it is really about uh, the community, and it's really about the, the amount of support that you get um, getting through nursing school. Yeah. I think that that is such a great way to look at it because it's not just a membership and it's not just a community. It is both, um, which is very unique and really incredible. And we love it. We love, love, love it. Um, Bree, I, was, I wanted to mention Bree. So Matthew oh. just told me like a couple of weeks ago that we have had over 4,000 members inside the community. <laughs> what are you kidding me pretty insane so i am so so like i just feel so blessed to be able to help you guys through nursing school like this is what we live for <laughs> truly like oh, yeah. he can tell you when i go to bed at night i'm like hey babe we should do this and the community like we should do this for our members i think that's the other thing too <laughs> that's basically um, what I do pe always. people have asked why isn't the membership always open Mm, that's and a that's a really good question and really that that's it is because we do focus a lot on the membership on adding content on making sure that you guys are getting the attention that you need inside the membership community yeah. and to do that we'll have we have to close down the enrollment period or the open period so that we can really focus on adding content or making sure that um, you're getting all the attention that you need and support that you need to, to help get through nursing school yeah. so yeah we only open it a couple times a year uh, it's only open till Friday this week for this enrollment period. Uh, and that's so that uh, there are big things coming. I think that's the first time we're saying that. But Ooh. there are big things coming down the pipeline. I'm for, not allowed to share the, the secret. So. Matthew's allowed to 
uh, there there are things coming, and in order to do that, we need to close enrollment for a while and and make sure that you guys are getting all that. So we are, we are working on things. We're always working on things, on our and members. that's going to be coming down. So also so as I, a member, you'll okay. probably be privy to some of those things as we get closer to that. So this is so funny wink, because wink. this is like legitimately, if you were going to join, now is the time. <laughs> Do it. Amber, <laughs> awesome. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, friends. Just saying. Thank you. I start school on Monday and is super nervous, so this sounds so great. Yeah, definitely. You are not, not alone. alone. <laughs> you are not definitely alone, Definitely not friend. alone. No, no. Um, Someone was just asking about yes. food. So Al, Alia, hello. We were, I think we were just chatting on Instagram. Oh, okay. Um, an example of, of fluid and electrolytes. Well, yeah. I mean, we kind of talked about it earlier. Um, so I'm not totally going to repeat myself, but let's do kind of a high level for you. Um, so let's say you have like a disorder like hypokalemia or hyperkalemia. You know? So we have to know the pathophysiology behind that. Like what is actually happening with a patient with hyperkalemia, hypokalemia, all of that, you know, hyponatremia. I'm going to get confused saying hypo and hyper a thousand times. But we have inside the fluid and electrolytes course, we have, you know, uh, you know, sodium, magnesium, calcemia, calcium, <laughs> hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia. All right, that's a lot of big words, friend. We break it down for you step by step for everything that you have to know. Hypophosphatemia, hyperphosphatemia, all of this stuff. So if you are confused about all of those words, don't worry, because we're going to help you through it. Um, Meryl, Mer, uh, sorry, Merilico, hello. How do I join the community? Nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash join is your link and to join. And special shout out to Rosie, just joined the membership. Hi, Hooray! Rosie. Yay. I am like just delighted. This and is actually, amazing. I am going to be pulling up something special. Our Ooh, shout outs. Let's do outs. something we're special. Gonna, we're going to be doing some shout outs here I in a like little bit special. just to shout out all the people that have joined mm -hmm. since we went live because we did more shout outs um, last Monday. Oh, yes. Yeah, so when if, it you, opened. if you joined before Monday night, we did shout outs on the live video on Monday. So you can check that out on YouTube and I probably say your name in that shout out. There we go. Okay. Um, I'm studying for the NCLEX and I'm so lost with what I should focus on. So here's the thing with NCLEX. Okay, I'm not going to like dive into it super deep because we just did a live on it, I think like last week. So check that out on YouTube, TikTok, okay? So um, it's on YouTube. We talked about the NGN. We talked about how to study for the NCLEX and how to prepare for it, all mm -hmm. that. We talked about that last week. Um, but, you know, super high level here. Um, you, when you are studying to take the NCLEX, it's kind of a different strategy than when you are studying for nursing school because you... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you are going to be kind of putting things together. You're going to be doing practice questions a lot. <laughs> so when you are doing the practice questions, you really want to make sure that you are keeping in mind the kinds of questions that you're getting right and the kinds of questions that you're getting wrong. And you, of course, want to focus on what you are getting wrong. Okay. On, you know, it, are, are you always getting the farm questions wrong? Are you always getting lab value questions wrong? Are you always getting, you know, nursing fundamentals questions wrong or cardiac questions wrong? You want to make sure that you are focused on the things that you are, um, the, the areas that you are weaker in, that's just the best use of your time and study those things and then do practice questions about those things, your weaker subjects. Thank you for all the hearts on TikTok and Instagram. I really appreciate that. I am really happy that this is helpful for you. I really like what you say about that too. Um, and you, you mentioned this all the time and I think that it's really good because people do get caught up in this scenario mm -hmm. where you tend to study your strong points because it makes you feel good. Yes. And everyone wants to feel good, right? Yep. So if you know it already, you're like, oh yeah, I think I need to study this more. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how good I am. Look how awesome so, I am. So which, which, I mean, not very helpful, not on, helpful. honestly. So yes, be sure to focus nope. on the things that you are struggling with mm -hmm. and you'll slowly get better at it. And it stinks. You guys, it stinks <laughs> to have to say like, ugh, like pharmacology, I really stink at this and now I have to study it more. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You know, but yes, we do. <laughs> so... <laughs> that's why we have the membership community to help and make 
make it all easier for you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Instagram's asking again. Uh, it is nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash join. And the link is in my bio. So mm, the link is in my good. bio on Instagram and on my bio on TikTok. It's, it's kind of hard to type on, on so sorry, TikTok yeah, and on Instagram. Can't but type on there. It's on your profile, right? It's on my profile. Okay. It's the link on my profile. Mm. And just click on membership community and it will send you right there. So yeah, link in, link in bio as the cool kids say. Do people still say that? I don't know. I'm always behind the times. I don't understand. Uh, Shin Shin, uh, you were saying I have one more semester before I graduate from nursing school. Never failed a course. Your vids help a lot. Yay! I'm so awesome. happy. We had so many members on on Monday who were like, they're like, yes, join, yes, join, because it's amazing. I love you guys. Seriously. Who else is a Nursing SOS member? So many of you guys are on tonight. All right. Thank you. And let's do some shout outs. And Rosie, I saw oh, your name, so you're going to be shouted out in just a couple here. So let's start uh, right My here. favorite time. And you're going to go up. I'm going to go up. Yep. Welcome to the Nursing SOS membership community, Katie, Lindy, Aisha, Rosie, hey. there you go, hey, <laughs> Paulina, Zage, Jennifer, and Brandy. All right, let's Next, keep going. That's a lot of pages, really. Keep going, yep. Uh, Nikki, Tessa, Marisa, Kaylee, Adria, Brittany, Marie, Marizia. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that probably was not right. Danielle, Latanya, Kimberly, Priscilla. Oh, that's it Kimberly. for that page. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. next page. Um, Michelle, Palmyra. Ooh, that's a pretty name, Palmyra. Madison, Vivian, Bridget, Camilla, Shannon, Jennifer, Mar... Uh, is that an R? Marvin. Marvin yep. and Nasha? Nasha? All right, that's round Welcome. one. We'll finish up here oh, okay, in the that's next round one. Friend. Okay. That's round one. So, hooray. Oh, I just saw this one, too. Oh, same here, last semester. Awesome. Woohoo! Uh, Failed my midterm today on ATI. I'm excited to join. Awesome. Yes, we're going to help you so much. Did you guys know? Okay, here's mm. another thing that's super cool about our membership community is that if you don't pass nursing school, we give you your money back. No one else does that, friends. Because seriously, we know that you we can help you. And literally, no one has ever taken me up on it. What? So, so, failing your midterm, just don't get discouraged. You, this is not the end. Join the community. Looks, looks like this is the beginning. So This yeah. is just the beginning for you, friends. Yep. And if you awesome. also need, like it, like what you're saying, need support, need some community, just kind of um, yep. either some tough love or just some love, just go ahead and get to the community <laughs> and uh, let, let them know what's going on. I am on. good for both. I am yes. good for the tough love, and I am good for the... <laughs> Yeah, congratulatory, yay, you know, cheerleader. <laughs> I do both. Oh, wait, hold on. I play Go back both here. roles. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I wanted to answer this question, too. Sure. I can't wait to get into the LPN program to join your membership. Yay! So excited. So, also, friends, I wanted to mention, because we get this question all the time, is our membership community will work as well for LPNs or LVN programs. So it's not just RN programs. We can absolutely help you. We have had so many members um, who are in an LVN, LPN program. And here's just the thing that you're going to want to note is that our membership will have more information in there than your LPN or LVN program will cover. So because we, we do create the videos for RN students, you know, RN programs, ABN programs, BSN programs, A, BSN programs, accelerated, you know, um, L uh, what, uh, the other one is uh, like bridge programs like RN to BSN, you know, all that. So our community is meant for, uh, like built with the RN program in mind. It will absolutely work for LPN programs. You just will not use all of the information in there. Um, they're very similar. However, things like the nursing assessments, you might not go as deep in your program as our videos in the membership will. Does that make sense? So your LPN program is not necessarily going to cover everything that we have inside the membership. But if you are in an RN program, absolutely, like, we give you everything you need to know. <laughs> Does that awesome. make sense? Um, yeah. Okay, so 
want to circle back around on part of that, but then before that, mm -hmm. I just want to answer this question first. Uh, I came a little late. Kimberly, hey, is the membership videos or live Zooms or something else? So Ooh, the, great question. That is, that is a good question. Mm -hmm. You get asked a lot. Um, they are pre-recorded videos for most of the content for like the disorders and fundamentals mm -hmm. and things like that. They're on-demand videos. They're so on-demand videos. You can watch videos. them at 3 a.m. if you want to. You really could. Or right after class at 11 a.m. They're always there for you unless Amazon servers go out. <laughs> but, <laughs> Let us know if it's back, by the way. Yeah, but yes, um, it is on-demand videos. Mm -hmm. There are other things, obviously, with the membership that we went into a little bit more detail a little earlier. Um, oh, something that we did not talk about is every Monday, right before our live, yep. you guys do a coaching call, and that is a live coaching call. What? Um, so there is yes. that. So we do have a mixture of on-demand, some live. I we am live with you every Monday inside the community. Yep. We yes. have our community group every that you can week. always ask questions. You also have your tutor form that you can ask our nurses about yes. questions. So it's, it's kind of a... Yes, to your and question. there's also surprises <laughs> too along the way. So, so yep, just so you know, there is a little bit Get of ready that, to be a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, hopefully, that answers your question. Now, back to um, your previous question. Can't wait to get in the LPM program to join your mm -hmm. membership. So, my question is, how early before your program should you join? I the membership? that's a great question. We get this question a lot. I always recommend that you join two to three months before you start your program. And here's why. When you start nursing school, you want to be prepared. <laughs> right? You don't want to start out behind like everyone else is going to be. Because in the first couple of weeks of your program, not only are you going to have a dose talk exam, and by the way, you have to pass that exam in order to stay in your program. That is not nursing school specific. It is an accreditation issue. It is across all nursing programs, at least in the United States, you have to pass that exam. So within your first two weeks of your program, you will have a dose cock exam. You have to pass it in order to stay in your program. So here's the problem. If you wait to understand dose calc and practice dose calc problems until you start nursing school, you are already behind because they will not delay the content and the other exams that you have to know in nursing school in order for you to pass that test. You just mm -hmm. have to do both. So here's what it's going to be like when you join nursing school. You are going to have just your regular exams. Maybe even the second week, you're going to have a couple exams the second week of your term. You are, they're going to hit the ground running. You need to know things right out of the gate. And on top of that, you are going to have a dose cuff exam within the first two weeks. So that means that on your own time, you have to study for your regular nursing school exams and the dose calc exam and let me tell you friend when you do both of those things at the same time it is very quickly overwhelming and very stressful and to be honest quite frustrating um it was not fun <laughs> it was not a fun experience for me so i'm just forewarning you that is what happens it is every single nursing program your program is not different than everyone else's it's the same across the board um so just prepare for it okay plan mm -hmm. for that so Inside the Nursing SS membership community, that is one of the things we absolutely, like, we drill down <laughs> dose Whoa. calc. We teach it so much better than anyone else I have ever seen. It is so, so good. So if you are confused about dose calc, if you are struggling to pass it, if you have any issues with it, you're going to want to get inside the community, get the videos, get the practice problems. Little Ms. Nurse, he even said, my program made us take the dose calc exam prior to even starting the program. Yep, that makes sense. Whoa. Yep, you have to take it in order to stay in the program. Dose calc is every two weeks with a 90% each time until graduation. I have been oh. hearing that over and over and over again. Absolutely, Rachel. Um, it is it is going to follow you. <laughs> it is going to follow you. And um, Rachel... <laughs> 90%? That is just consider yourself blessed, my <laughs> friend. Because what we Didn't most often like hear, that. what we most often hear is 100%. Like, you cannot miss one question. Oh, and yeah. If you miss one question, you are out of there. And it's, it's, ju it's just how it is. 
Razia, we have so, to get 100. Yeah? Yep. So different yeah. nursing school, different yeah. strokes for different folks. <laughs> There you go. I don't know what That's that the phrase. I'm going if with it. If I purchase the dose count box, will I have to print the cards or are they included? Oh, they are included. So the dose calc box mm, comes yeah. with the flashcard. Now, uh, Naya, are you a member? I thought you were on my list. Um, if you are a Nursing SS member, not only do you get these, if you join by tonight, the Nursing SS membership community, if you guys join by tonight, you get these flashcards digitally. Okay, so we're going to send you these in via email digitally. Um, so you will get these dose calc flashcards. Um, but also, as a nursing SS member, if you just want the farm box, if you just, if you want me to send you, um, you know, our pharmacology flashcards, if you want to buy the physical dose calc box with how many practice problems do we have? Like over a hundred? Oh, we have a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's we have two. Oh, and two we workbooks. just added two. Yeah, we just we added two, another workbook. To two it, workbooks so. now inside that box. Yeah. So, <laughs> <Boom. Bing. laughs> um, two workbooks now inside the box. Our members get twenty percent off our shop. So it is incredible, amazing. Um, I don't have the boxes way over there, so I'm yeah. not gonna go get it. So, uh, Naya, to answer your question, uh, the dose count box is the physical box that you get the physical dosage count flashcards mm -hmm. and practice uh, problem workbooks, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, uh, you can purchase the dose talk box. We'll ship that out to you mm -hmm. physically. It will be, uh, there for you and it will help you a lot. And if you're a member, members, 20% yes. off. And when I joined, I got the farm box with my membership. If you join on the annual plan mm -hmm. before Friday, Matthew is so nice. <laughs> He's going to send you the farm box for free. So if you join on annual, Yes, you get the farm box for free this week mm -hmm. because and, Matthew is so nice. And Rachel, yeah, you can definitely upgrade um, at any time. Oh, students do that yeah. all the time. Yep. Yeah, I know. So here's the thing, friends. Like, you can join on monthly, and any time you can upgrade to the year, it happens all the time. Because yeah, students enter, fine. and they're like, uh, this is way better than I thought it would be. <laughs> and then they go for the annual because you save on the annual um, because our membership community is – unrivaled to be honest it is pretty incredible and amber you just joined the yep. membership all right let's go ahead and do more shout outs and amber hopefully you're not the last one but you're going to be mm -hmm. close to the top so listen up for your name all right ready set and go ahead i started there yep welcome to the nursing yeah. SS membership community tiffany barbara liz Ram ramizi lakeisha milka marcia trisha tammy sharon loading Wait. Gabriella, Christy, Tammy, Danny, Monique, Dar Darlene, Dar Darlene, am I saying that correctly? Darlene, Darlene, mm -hmm. uh, Marianne, Ariana, Andrea, and Faith. And? Woohoo! Uh, Teresa, Cynthia, Nancy, Carlene, Rachel, G uh, Jania, ooh, pretty, ooh. Chris, Amber, Unique, and uh, Marilyn. Mar Marilyn? Marilyn! 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 Yay! Yay! Hooray! All right. Uh, just bought your program two days ago because because of those calc. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yep. Those calc is those calc. If we don't pass, yeah. we get dropped <laughs> in the program. I'm telling you, friends, this is not a program specific thing. This is every single program. You are not alone. Uh, do you start think, class. Do you think it's 29th. enough time to study? I start August 29th. Yeah, August 29th is next week. Okay. Uh, so you're a nursing SS member. Um, here's what you need to do. You need to click on that those calc course. Or right away like start going through those videos start doing the practice problems anything if you get caught up on anything mm -hmm. submit a tutor form and a nurse on our team will get back to you and we will walk you through it all right we don't want you're not going to be confused we're gonna we're gonna help you through it and like i said especially 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 with dose calc uh when you submit your tutor form with if you have a problem with a question put out the question Put out all the steps that you did to try and get to the answer because that will help immensely when we're trying to diagnose. diagnose? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we need Figure to see out your steps. Where, yeah. where there's a misalignment and it might just be a, a small little thing and that will clear everything up. So, yep. uh, but we don't know that unless you include the problem, include all the steps that you get to the answer. And yeah, just do that for dose calc and you'll be fine. For a nursing process, I was told the program that diagnoses is not a part of the nursing process anymore. 
I have heard this rumor <laughs> and um, I need to do a video on it actually. So I probably will do a YouTube video about it pretty soon mm. um, because we have had this question a couple of times and it is, it's kind of an interesting thing. So we're going to talk about it. I will do a video on it. Yep. Starting okay. in September, we begin fundamentals. Uh, Natalie, yeah. is there a different price for digital cards? So we don't sell them digitally. Actually, yeah, we don't usually sell just the digital copies. So um, this is the yeah, only time to get the them. dose... The those mm -hmm. calc digital versions are only available if you join the membership by midnight, which is kind of yep. cool. So that you can just print it out and you have it right away. Fancy so pants. It's kind of neat. Um, can I find uh the history of nursing? Okay, so history of nursing. We have uh inside the fundamentals mm -hmm. course. You will find the um like the nursing theories. That is so much of the history of nursing. Like you need to know like the nursing theorists and all that. I, for some reason, you're tested on that in fundamentals. It's weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yes, it's part of the community. Yeah, yes. Pidget, so like the <laughs> Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, <laughs> yeah. Pokemon, Pokemon. helped <laughs> with the nursing theories. Pidgeotto. There you go. Pidget. Matthew yeah, the non-nurse, folks. Yes. Matthew the non-nurse. Freud, um, I know that one too. Freud and <laughs> Jung. Not a nursing theorist, but okay. No. You no, do that. No, never. Um, yay, I joined in annually. Woohoo! Exciting! Right. And Rachel just joined too. Hooray! Congratulations! I am guys. so excited. Um, so yes, that is that is what it is. Hey, what are we talking about on Monday? <laughs> Y'all have used my anxiety. Hooray! That's what we do here, my friends. We try. Uh, what are we talking about on Monday? Yes. Is there anything that you guys want to talk about on Monday? Again, we go live every Monday, every Wednesday. Mondays and time. Wednesdays. How about specialties? Because we haven't talked about nursing specialties in a while on okay. a live. Let's talk about like let's talk about mental health. Let's talk about like how to study mental health, pediatrics, OB, the critical specialties. Care. We we talked a little bit about critical care today, but yeah, we can dive into that a little bit more. Shannon says Shannon. I love my membership. And I'm Rachel, so now I need to pass math, so definitely mm -hmm. Ghost Cup course, jump on in. Yeah. You guys, I know, I like, I get it totally. I get it because I find myself doing this too with something new that you're starting or um, like joining, especially like a, a subscription. Not I get it. Yes. I get it. It is tough. It's tough to like trust somebody enough to, okay, I'm going to join this. Um, I do want you to know, <laughs> well, like you guys know us, right? Like you've watched our YouTube videos. Like you've seen us on lives. Like you know us. We're going to take care of you. <laughs> so if you have any questions, this is not, like I said before, like this is not a, like you join our community and then you never hear from us again kind of thing. Because that would be so lame. That is not how we do it. All right? So <laughs> that's like the lamest and it makes me yeah. <laughs> want to cry. Um, because it gives programs a bad rap, right? And then it makes people think that we're sketchy. We're not sketchy. So, you know, we're going to take care of you. If you have a question, just ask. Yeah. We're here for we you. We really appreciate you guys. And um, that's what we're here for. Yeah, well, that's what we're here for. And like I said, wink, wink. Things are coming. Oh, yeah. Wink, wink. The road. If you are going so, to join, there now's you go. the time. I can't believe Matthew dropped that. He's been holding on to the secret for probably it's been well, a while. A very long time. Uh, Christiana so. and Dina said specialties would be awesome. A critical oh, care fine. live session would be awesome. So yeah, let's Perfect. let's do that. Let's do specialties yeah. on Monday. And we will weave in pharmacology too because that's like a big part of it. Yeah. So pharmacology and specialties, we're gonna do Neuro that. Neuro yeah. Neuro yeah. Yeah. We'll weave yep. into we'll weave into all those. And again, it's an AMA, so join and ask questions, and we will get to as many as we can. And thank you all for joining. Uh, let me see. Can you talk about a job for neurology next time? I don't know what an RN can do with that neurology. Oh, it depends on on like what floor you're on. You know, I mean, if it's a neurological floor, uh, like a med surge floor, that's just like a med surge floor. If you're in like the OR, that's a whole different ball game. Oh, friends, we talked about the OR a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's not an OR nurse because I can't wear the gear and I feel like I pass out every time <laughs> I step into one of those rooms. Uh, that's a sad day. Yeah. 
What? It's for some people. It's not for others, it's I just, guess. It's not for so. me. So, you know, it depends on what floor you're on for a neuro. You know, you could be a neuro nurse and, and where you call yourself an OR nurse, but I guess you could call yourself a neuro nurse if you're in a neuro OR. Um, or on a neuro floor, which would be technically a med floor, but, you know. Rachel, do you email drug calculations? So, um, not... Do we email We don't really know. Uh, it, we everything's have, in the course. Yeah, it's so. all in there. Yeah. Um, it's all in the membership. So if you go, just click on Dose Calc, and we have the videos there, we have the practice problems for you there, we have the workbooks, yeah, there are PDFs. all of that. It's all there. All, all the, the PDFs. All, the, all there. Yeah, so the PDFs for you to like print said, out and stuff. AWS, it's not up by now. It should be soon. So, mm -hmm. yeah, sorry guys. Um, we we were just told right before we went live that Amazon Web Servers are down, which means that our site unfortunately is down because we use Amazon. Again, not our whole site, so definitely. Oh, the circle, to, yeah. the community is the still community up. Is up. So go there, especially the people that just joined. Say hi. Uh, there's a couple things in there mm -hmm. for you guys to get used to and things like that. Yep. So definitely come and say hi, and if the membership's back up, then yeah. Yep. Definitely. Yep. It should be up soon. It's okay. Amazon. Uh, so Rachel. They fixed okay. It. So not the box. No. So the dose calc box has even more. Oh yeah. Workbooks and things. The dose calc. So. The dose calc <laughs> box has totally different practice problems. So, yeah, then the membership. So yeah. the membership has different practice problems in the box, and vice versa. So you could get both if you wanted to. Um, um, yeah, it depends on how much. Students do that all the time. Yeah, there's if you want the extra more practice, practice. More practice is better. Yep, but, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, Monday and Wednesdays. Monday and Wednesdays we go live Wednesday. at um, 6.30 yes. Pacific, 9.30 Eastern. Yep. Uh, yeah. And be sure to hit the notification bell uh, on YouTube. Definitely subscribe, subscribe and hit everywhere. the notification bell so that you All will be places. notified. All the places. Because that's always fun, too. Yep. All right. Yep. Specialties, right? Specialties on Monday. Specialties okay, friends, on we will see Mondays. you Monday. Do not forget to join the community before Friday, Ooh. before it closes. Okay? Awesome. Good. All right. We will see you next week. See Take you care, guys. my friends. Bye. Take care. Bye. We will see you later.